What's up, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show, and let's just jump into it. And guys, the first thing I wanna talk about today is an update to the story about a YouTuber being sued by a fellow YouTuber. That, of course, Matt Haw suing H3H3 Productions for their use of his video in their video where they were commenting and criticizing him. And yesterday, I was so pissed off about this lawsuit and the, the fact that a, a what I find to be a ridiculous lawsuit could ruin and crush what I think is a great YouTube channel. And because I recognized and wanted other people to recognize that this is a much bigger issue than just one lawsuit, I started a GoFundMe to help H3H3 Productions. I put $5,000, my own personal money in just to get the ball rolling and holy crap, internet, you did not let me down. I woke up this morning to find the help for H3H3 GoFundMe at over $100,000. What was even more amazing to me is how this horrible situation has seemingly brought the YouTube community together. Both the people who love H3H3 Productions and the people who even still have beef with H3H3 Productions donated to this cause. We got donations from Notch who created Minecraft, Gary Newman of Gary's Mod, Markiplier, Michael Green, Keemstar, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Webblecop, Vabble Platform, Kurz, I always mispronounce this part of your name in a nutshell. Even Leafy is here donated, which was amazing to me because those guys for a while just didn't like each other. There were so many more, Luna, Scars, I Hate Everything, Boogie2988, Jenna Marbles, Jake Roper, Matthias, there's just too many people to mention. But the two donations that affected me the most was a, a small donation that said, I have never seen H3H3 videos. I don't even know the guy, but what I do know is my dad said that when you see someone being bullied, you help out. And on the opposite end of the spectrum was the $10,000 donation from the Fine Bros. What a lot of people initially didn't realize about this situation is that this affects so many YouTubers. And the other thing that a lot of people didn't realize is that the Fine Bros have been fighting this fight for years. And it's just so awesome to see everyone putting the past aside, people squashing beefs, people thinking of community first. It's like when the Avengers all fight fight each other and then they realize they all have a common enemy and they work together, except none of us are superheroes and we're pretty much all losers behind a camera. You get what I'm saying. And just really thank you, whether you donated a high dollar amount, you donated five dollars, you're any of those 4,000 plus people, if you're any of the over 10,000 people who just shared the post, thank you for reminding not only me or H3H3 Productions, but everyone else out there that there is a community on YouTube that cares about one another. When you take a shot at one of us, you take a shot at all of us. Thank you for showing that there can be a million videos called YouTube drama this, and everyone's being petty over here, but when someone attacks our home, we take up arms. Now we sound the alarms and we do something about it because we live in a time where a lot of people say a lot of stuff and they don't do a lot of stuff, but here today we did. And the note I wanna end this story on is that, yes, this is a victory today and we should celebrate it. Let's also remember that it's not over. I did start this GoFundMe campaign. I will hand it over to Ethan, and for me, for the most part, it will be done. And tomorrow, when these guys wake up, they'll know that the internet had their back, but they will also still be getting sued. That's an important thing to remember before we pull a muscle patting ourselves on the back. Then there was another YouTuber in the news, although not for the most positive reason. Prankster Vitaly, who really hasn't posted anything for a while, was arrested yesterday for climbing the D on the Hollywood sign with his own sign reading, I'm back. It was all caught on live TV, park rangers showed up, they arrested him. So they took him into custody for trespassing, he has since posted bail, but this could be a huge problem for him. If the judge wants to make an example out of him, he might have to pay a $1,000 fine as well as serve six months in county jail. Although if I were to guess, our jail system out here is so overcrowded, he'll probably go in and out if he does have to serve any time. And personally, I'm interested to see how the video will do because I feel like a big part of the reason why he hasn't been posting is he received a ton of crap for people doing exposed videos on him. A lot of people claiming that he faked some of his pranks, so maybe he's leaning more on doing stunts like this. But I don't know, we'll see. And then one of the most requested stories of the past 36 hours, people want me to talk about Captain America. And this was actually for two reasons. The first is that there is a new Captain America comic book where it turns out that he's part of Hydra. Many people getting angry, saying how dare they do this, Captain America was a character created by two Jewish people to fight Nazis, and now essentially you're putting him in an organization that is Nazis. And to those that are angry, I say maybe wait to the end of that series to see if like the full arc is something you want to be angry about. Also understand, good guy is actually a bad guy is a classic way of selling a comic book series. And the second reason people wanted me to talk about Captain America was the hashtag, give Captain America a boyfriend. Tons of people rallying around the idea that Captain America should be gay and he should be gay with Bucky. And to this, I say, I don't care. One, it wouldn't be that outlandish. Have you seen how Cap and Bucky are together? He's the one person in this life that he can actually relate to. They've been ride or die bros for years. But three, once again, I don't care. They don't need to make this change. But if you did watch Captain America Civil War at the very least, it doesn't have to be a gay thing. Bucky should at least give Captain America a hand job. Did you see everything he did for him? It's the least he could do. Cap's got 70 plus years of buildup. Why else do you think Captain America's making crazy ass life decisions that put all of his friends at risk? Blue balls. He's not 
not thinking straight, but yeah, I, I couldn't care less. Hey, did you like that I said couldn't care less instead of could? Hey. Sometimes the right words come out of my mouth in the right order with the right pronunciation. Then in your fun fact of the day, a report came out from the U.S. Government Accountability Office that revealed that a good portion of America's nuclear arsenal is managed and controlled by 1970 computers that use floppy disks. That includes intercontinental ballistic missiles, nuclear bombers, tanker support aircraft. And the same report explained that $61 billion a year are used to maintain these old systems, which is actually more than three times what the government spends on new systems. The good news, though, is the Department of Defense said that by the end of 2017, they should have all of the floppy drives replaced with new technology. Side note, I was having a conversation with my buddies this morning, and it's so weird. There is a generation of people that don't know what a floppy disk is. They're like, oh, the save icon? And on that note, I'll say this, what I've said to my friends that are around my age or older who are single. If there's a girl that you want to hook up with that doesn't know what a floppy disk is, she's probably too young. If you're around my age and you mentioned to a girl how you used to have to use a pencil to fix cassette tapes and she's like, what? She's probably too young. And if you're a guy my age and there is a girl you want to hook up with and you mention Legend of Zelda and she goes, oh, you mean the one with a gold cartridge? Marry her. Just lock it down. Just some DeFranco life tips for you. Then let's play one of our favorite games here on the show. What is the internet angry about today? The thing many people are throwing their anger at today is this video that is blowing up that is allegedly a Chinese ad for detergent. You have a woman that seems to be interested in a black handyman who comes over. She lures him over, puts candy in his mouth, and then jams him into a washer. And the detergent is so good, this black man comes out clean as a now Chinese man. Now, if you have a good enough memory, this may seem familiar because it is the exact opposite of an old school Italian laundry commercial where a woman lures a hairy, skinny, white dude. She jams him into a washer and guess what? Boom! She uses a detergent for colored clothes and so the previously scrawny white guy emerges as a muscly black Adonis with the slogan, colored is better. I don't even know what to say about these commercials. So a question to you guys, what do you think about that old commercial and what do you think about this new commercial? Offensive, not offensive, just a joke, whatever. I'd love to know what you think and why. And that's actually where I'm gonna end today's show. And guys, remember, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Make little Shia happy. Yes! a complainer. Oh, and don't forget, there are only a few more days left for you to be able to snag a beautiful bastard shirt. Grab that link down below. But with that said, of course, as always, my name's Philip DeFranco. You've just been filled in. I love your faces and I'll see you tomorrow. 